Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm explaining why some people absolutely hate hearing aid clinics. Coming up. You know that feeling you get when you need to buy a car? You know, that mild sense of nausea that you get in the pit of your stomach when you know you're gonna spend the entire day inside of a car dealership just waiting for a car salesperson to try every trick in the book to sell you a car today? Well, that's how a lot of people feel when they know they need to buy a new set of hearing aids. How do I know this? Well, I spend a lot of time reading the comments on my YouTube channel where people are comparing buying new hearing aids to going into a car dealership and buying a car from the slimiest used car salesman on the planet. And this criticism hits close to home because I myself own and operate a clinic that treats hearing loss with hearing aids. Which is why I decided to take some time to explore the variety of reasons that someone may actually hate going into a hearing aid clinic. But before I get into these reasons, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button. It really helps out my channel. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit the subscribe button with notification bell, go ahead and do that as well because that ensures that you never miss one of my newly released videos. That being said, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the reasons why some people absolutely hate hearing aid clinics. I guess before I speculate on this, it might be helpful if you actually understood how the hearing aid industry works. There are a number of hearing aid manufacturers, but these hearing aid manufacturers do not sell hearing aids directly to the end user, which would be the person with the hearing loss. Instead, they sell these hearing aids to a clinic who in turn uses those devices to treat their patients. Now these clinics can be private practices just like mine, or they could be chains like an Audibel, Miracle Ear, Beltone, or even a Costco and there are some clinics that are actually owned by hearing aid manufacturers. The point here is, is that you are not the customer of the hearing aid manufacturer, you are the customer of whatever clinic you go to. It also means that the experience that you get when you purchase a set of hearing aids is very specific to the clinic that you go to. But why do so many people absolutely hate going and buying hearing aids from a hearing aid clinic? The first reason is that the process of treating hearing loss with hearing aids has become much more about making a sale than it is about actually treating the hearing loss. To be honest, this is the thing that bothers me the most about my own profession, because at some point we got away from using our education and expertise to optimize treatment outcomes with hearing aids and it turned much more into something to where we just wanted to sell as many hearing aids as humanly possible. This change in focus resulted in a consultation experience that felt much more like a sales pitch rather than a discussion of your potential treatment options. In fact, there are some hearing aid clinics that hold these sales events where they bring in a sales expert from a hearing aid manufacturer in order to sell as many hearing aids as humanly possible within a few days time period. Now, if you ask me, that sounds a lot more like being pressure sold a new car rather than finding the car that's right for you. The second reason that people hate hearing aid clinics is the lack of pricing transparency. For decades, the vast majority of hearing aid dispensing clinics have used a bundled model of hearing aid delivery, which basically means that the cost of your hearing aids and the cost of the professional services that you receive to go along with those hearing aids are combined into one single price. While there is nothing inherently wrong with actually going going to a clinic that offers bundled pricing, it has made it very difficult for a hearing aid user to understand what they're actually supposed to get with that money that they're spending. For instance, if you think that 100% of the money that you spend is going towards the hearing aids and any services that you get are just kind of thrown in on top of that, the expectation level that you have for high quality of service goes down, which is exactly what a lot of these clinics want you to believe. Not to mention, there are a lot of clinics out there who have no incentive to provide you with excellent follow-up care if they know that they already have your money. This is why some clinics have actually started to go away from this model and have started to separate the cost of the hearing aids from the cost of all of the services that you receive. This way you can understand exactly how much money is going towards the devices and how much money is going towards the services. The third reason that people hate hearing aid clinics is that these clinics no longer follow best practices when they're selecting, fitting, and programming a set of hearing aids 
aids, as well as providing you with follow-up care. Now, I know I talk about best practices a lot on my channel, but best practices are the only way to ensure that you receive the maximum amount of benefit from your hearing aids. They are a long list of procedures that have been proven by research to optimize the performance of your devices. This includes verification measures like realer measurement, as well as validation measures like subjective outcome questionnaires. Now, if you want to learn more about best practices, then I highly recommend that you check out my video that I will link down in the description. And you should also check out my best practice checklist to ensure that your hearing care professional actually follows them. The problem is most clinics find that following best practices takes a significant amount of time away from them when they could be using that time to sell more hearing aids. So instead, they rely solely on the default program settings inside of the hearing aid manufacturer software. And then they ask you, how does that sound during your fitting as they cross their fingers and hope that it's good enough for you to keep the hearing aids past your trial date so you don't return the hearing aids for a refund. Now, if you want to find a hearing care professional in your area that actually follows best practices, then go to my website, drcliffaud.com, where you can search for a best practice pro member near you. And the fourth reason that I can think of as to why people hate hearing aid clinics is that not very many hearing aid clinics follow a person-centered care approach to treatment. Person-centered care is when you, the patient, actively participates in your own treatment process in close cooperation with your hearing care professional. This takes you from being just another sales opportunity to an actual human being who has wants, needs, and values that are taken into consideration when recommending treatment options and administering treatment. Just imagine if you had a hearing hearing care professional who actually took the time to understand your communication difficulties and then took the time to help you actually understand your hearing loss and worked with you to determine what the best treatment option was. It is much easier for these clinics just to do a quick hearing test and then to give you the recommendation that they literally give to everybody else. Now I know this is coming across as a pretty negative video and I guess I kind of knew that that was going to happen but there is a silver lining to all of this because if you actually understand what's going on inside of the hearing aid industry Industry, then you can be a much better advocate for yourself. Because just like there are some car dealerships that give you an absolutely phenomenal experience when you're going in to buy a car, there are some fantastic hearing aid clinics as well. You just have to take the time and find them. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.